Wine tasting for dummies. This is the 15th day of my sommelier challenge where I try to become a level 3 sommelier in just 30 days. And this is the first episode and the reason for this is I've been so busy studying for the level 2 exam which I'm now happy to announce that I passed that there was just no time to record anything. But now I have a week off before my level 3 starts and I'm going to try to summarize what I've learned so far. I'm going to do this in a very very simple fashion. So this is going to be called Wine Tasting for Dummies. If you know nothing about wine, this might help you some. If you know a lot about wine, don't even bother to, to watch this. And I'm going to do this such a short amount of time as possible. So I'm going to try to keep this below five minute video so you all have the time to watch it. Wine tasting. When it comes to wine tasting, we're going to look at four things. We're going to look at the appearance, we're going to look at the nose, we're going to look at the palate, and we're going to look at the quality. When it comes to appearance, look at the wine. We want it to be clear, and the opposite of this is hazy. If you taste wine in a fancy restaurant and it's hazy, that's probably okay. But if you find wine in your closet and it's hazy, do not drink this wine. So we're looking for clear wines. We're going to look at the intensity of the color. And more or less, the deeper intensity you have, the thicker skin grape we have from the beginning that we made the wine from. And Look at the, the color and how you describe the color. It doesn't really matter if you describe it as purple or ruby. It's, it's all going to be a matter of opinion and it's, it's not going to be really affecting your tasting. If you're doing a test, obviously you're going to have to know the colors, but just describe it as you see it. And this obviously is not going to be a wine. This is a Luca Crush, so it's kind of a pink, medium intensity color, I'd say. When it comes to the nose, and this is how the wine smells. We're going to swirl the glass to concentrate the aromas. We're going to take a big sniff and then we're going to describe the condition. If it smells like something you would want to drink, this is a clean wine. If it smells like something you just want to throw away, this is an unclean wine. So that's the first assessment you make. And then we look at the intensity. If there's something that just pops up and hits you in the face, this is a pronounced intensity. And the easier it is to, to actually feel or smell what it is, the more pronounced it's going to be. And if you really have to smell it and you cannot really describe what, you, what you're sensing, this is a light intensity, you have a medium in between. And then there's the characteristics. Is there a fruit in there? Is there a vegetable? Is there oak? And this is going to tell you something about the wine. The fruitier it smells, the uh, younger the wine will be. If you smell oak or leather or meat, probably this wine has been aged and probably it's been aged in oak. When it comes to palate, again, you take a sip, you draw some air through your lips, and um, you'll probably be spitting it back out again, but I'm not going to do that. And then you're going to first look at the sweetness, and that's basically how much sugar the wine has in it. And no sugar at all is going to be called dry, then we have off dry, we have medium and we have sweet. Most wines I've been tasting so far has been dry wines and I think this is the most common thing. We're going to look at acidity and if you imagine tasting a lemon you're going to almost feel your mouth watering and this is the acidity and basically the same thing with the wine. The more you feel that it's actually filling your mouth with saliva the more acid the wine has. We're going to describe this as high, medium or low acidity. Tannins, this only applies to red wine because they're the only ones that has tannins and it's going to be this astringent feeling in your mouth more or less feels like it's sticking to your teeth and it's making your gum like go this then you are describing your wine as high tannin and we have medium and low. The body of the wine is kind of a tricky one but imagine having milk and this really low fat milk and how this is going to feel in your mouth is going to be almost watery and then imagine drinking uh, cream. This is going to be like really full of body. And it's exactly the same with wine. The more you actually can feel the wine in your mouth, it's going to be a full body, maybe medium and light. Characteristics, what it tastes like, and hopefully it's going to taste like it smells. So that's pretty much as easy as it gets. When it comes to the finish, you're going to see how long will this, this flavor stay in my mouth. Can I still taste the uh, green apple like two minutes after I drank the wine is going to be a long finish and then we have the medium and the short finish the better quality wine we have the longer finish we're looking to see 
And last of all, we're going to look at the quality. If this is a faulty wine, it might be hazy, it might be tasting disgustingly or, or nothing at all. It's going to be a poor wine. One step up, uh, we don't like the wine with no finish and in no um, complex intensities or anything like that. We're going to have an acceptable wine. One step up from this, we're going to have a good wine. We have the next step is going to be a very good wine and then we have the outstanding wine. You will have a lot of intensity, you will have complexity in the aromas, you will have a real long finish and you're looking at really good wine. So that's my more or less five minute intro to wine tasting. Thank you for watching.